Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to The Boring Company and Elon Musk. Welcome back, my name is Will. We've got a little uh, little bit of a different episode today. It's just basically we're going to look at some pictures that I've collected over the last week or so. There's been quite a bit going on at the Hawthorne Test Tunnel site. Various things are being built, constructed. And I thought we could have a look at them and then we could maybe have a talk about the event on the 18th of December, what I think is going to happen, what I believe will be unveiled. So, 18th of December. The event is still on, as far as I know. Hopefully it doesn't get cancelled again, but I don't think it is going to get cancelled because today we got this flyer from... Elon Musk. It came through to people who own uh, Teslas uh, and allowed them to RSVP for the event. Therefore, I'm pretty confident this event is now going ahead. Whatever they needed to do, they have now completed it. So we are ready to go. Also got this really excellent uh, picture of the actual uh, main body of the TBM and the uh, screw conveyor being removed from the shaft. Excellent little picture that. I've also got this. There's been quite a lot of confusion on the Reddit and on the internet in general in regards to these two towers that are located in Hawthorne in and around the SpaceX campus. They're at the east and the west of sides of the tunnel. What is it? Well... This here is right next to the entrance to SpaceX. This is basically going to be uh, the watchtower. At the moment, this is being clad with bricks. I'll show you more pictures in a minute. However, there is another tower. This tower is at the other side, uh, alongside 120th Street. Now, it turns out that this is actually a loop elevator. This entire structure has been lifted and dropped into the shaft. That is the same shaft where the TBM has been removed. This will eventually be turned into a test elevator. The actual elevator doesn't rise to the surface. It will be capped with some kind of steel plate. However, they will test it underground. And that is why they've built this structure. That confirms to me what these mounting plates are going to be used for. This picture is around four or five weeks old now, but at the time I was unsure what they were going to be used for, but it turns out that these will be used for mounting the actual frame for the loop elevator. Here's another close-up picture. This was prior to it being dropped into the shaft. Um, I got this picture off Facebook by this gentleman here, Ramsey L. Dib. He has been in and around the actual Hawthorne site and has been taking some pictures and uh, he contacted me and sent me this picture as well as a few other ones which is very kind of him and very key to this picture is you can actually see the elevator motor here and now we know what this is going to be used for this I imagine will be based below the finished floor level of the shaft as the actual vehicles will drive on here, on this piece here. This is another picture that I've collected. This is just the uh, the actual uh, counterweights that were used for the crane. They sit on the rear of the crane and prevent it from toppling over. There's probably several of them. Um, so here we are. Here's the actual watchtower. So remember, this is a different tower. It's located at the entrance to Space X. Um, I'm going to be really honest with you, they've made an absolute dog's dinner of this brickwork. Um, they've used this prefabricated uh, uh, brickwork sections, which they're lifting in. They're quite tall. They're probably around 12 foot tall. Um, a lot of the bricks seem very, very uneven. And in some places, which I'll show you now, like here, they're actually slightly off-center and not 
not actually pointing in the right direction really they kind of at a slight angle so it kind of gives me the impression this is a bit of a rush job what is going on here with these um, these sections here this detail here here where the actual uh, eastern uh, facade and the southern facade are jointed it is an absolute dog's dinner it, it looks terrible this backing paper is just pointing out unless they're going to just quickly point that out before the event gosh it looks terrible um and they seem like they're a different format as well they seem more square compared to the bricks that i've seen in previous pictures here we are again but, but look at this detail here it's phew, pretty horrendous i hope next time they they come up with a different system of doing this i don't understand why they're not using rebar inside the actual brickwork and then tying it at the top maybe with an l section of steel maybe they could thread it through and bolt it together but pff, the way they've done it with, with this kind of metsec wall um <clears throat> mounted on the rear of the the, the brickwork wall it, it just doesn't seem to work that well right so in terms of what i'm going to predict for the event on the 18th First of all, let's talk about the pods themselves. I don't think the pod that will be revealed will look like this. I think it will look very different. I think it will look very similar to an existing Model X. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think that what they're revealing is, is more of like a, a test vehicle rather than the actual finished uh, article they'll still be able to use it um, whether it will have these huge sections of glass I very much doubt it will be uh, probably level 4 maybe level 5 autonomous and what, what will happen in the future as they've kind of changed their plans it will take you and whoever else is in the pod to your nearly nearest loop elevator it will then come to the service and it will do a bit of a, um, uh, a circle around the estate where you live so oh, it will feed into all people who live within say 400 meters of that loop lift it will go up and around and then come back round to the next loop elevator and then go back into the system that way it will be able to eliminate the last mile issue it'll literally drop you within five meters of where you need to be and actually thinking about it that's probably a better system than having thousands of thousands of loop elevators everywhere you could reduce it to maybe uh, several hundred um, and then like you say it, it just acts a bit like an uber taxi for a very short uh, distance of maybe a couple of miles on the surface um, <clears throat> they're also going to release the loop elevators and test them out I think they will just basically be very standard elevators just uh, the actual platform will be a lot lot bigger it'll have a, 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 a much bigger counterweight and obviously the motors to reflect that um, and that that'll be that they might they might come up with some some kind of secret elevator technology I, I i doubt it i think it'll just be based on standard elevators just blown up larger maybe they'll, they'll look at existing uh, car elevators and just adapt that technology so uh yeah well thanks guys thanks for watching in terms of the 18th I will be live streaming. I am working with uh, Blake Anberg, who is from In The Hyperloop, the YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed to that channel, please do so. He's going to be at the event. Hopefully, he's going to get inside. Hopefully, there will also be a live stream, so we'll be able to watch Blake inside the event and also watch the live stream, listen to Elon Musk and hear what he's got to say. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Super excited! This is really gonna put the Boeing company on the map. They will be all over the news. A lot of people will start following the Boeing company, and they will 
become hopefully very uh, very well known in the LA area. Hopefully they'll get on the local news and maybe even uh, CNN and other news channels, Fox News, that sort of thing. So overall, very, very excited. Hopefully Elon Musk surprises us with some new technology, some new ideas. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's fantastic. All credit to the Boeing company for getting this far. That's brilliant. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you soon. And remember, guys, don't be boring. Goodbye. Have a great day. See you soon.